Yo, what's up guys? I may look tired, so I'm gonna show you guys why. It is 12 o'clock in the morning. Yes, you heard that, right? Let me open these up a little bit so y'all can, can see, man. It's all dark. Go over here, man. Show y'all some more. Say hello to the dorm. Nice and clean. Got it cleaned up recently. So nice and peaceful out here, man. This is actually really nice looking out at nighttime. Really pretty. I should come out and do this more often. Look at it at night. And then shout out to Lainey for all the door decks and Cyrus, who's my RA. Like a workout before I go to bed and then um, get some rest, wake up tomorrow, probably go play some basketball and then go to the baseball game. That's the whole reason we're making this vlog. I do want to let you guys know, because I said I'll keep you guys posted. Our basketball team did end up losing that first round game against Western Kentucky by 20. Might sound bad, but they were pretty competitive in the first half throughout the game. I think they led at one point by two. Um, I'm not too sure on that, they could be wrong. Um, I was able to watch the game because I don't have ESPN Plus, but I was keeping up with it through Twitter and all that. And, you know, unfortunately, they just weren't able to get the win. Towards the end, they just got tired. I think they only played about eight guys. Uh, but Christian had another good game, had about 20. Free throws is what killed us the most. We shot the same field goal percentage pretty much as Western Kentucky, but they shot, I think, about 13 more free throws than us, maybe even more. And then they converted and we didn't convert on ours. So that was the momentum change of the game. Um, but really happy with how the guys played, honestly. It was a hard fought season and it was just they had to face a lot of adversity or missing a lot of key players on the stretch this season. Had the mask back from last year's tragedy was, you know, hard for them to do. Um, but they pushed through. They have a bright future. I'm excited to see what Coach Hooting can do for this program. I know he's gonna get his back on track and get us back to what we're used to. But sadly, today is not a basketball video for you basketball fans. But for you baseball fans, there's a baseball game today. Our baseball team is actually pretty good. I think I mentioned in my previous videos that they've been off to a better start. They're nine and eight now. They've lost two in a row, but they're putting us the number 24 ranked Texas Tech. So they're like one of the best teams in the nation. Uh, we lost the first game by six, the second game only by two. So we're pretty competitive with them for the most part. Play against Sam Houston State these next three games. I'm only gonna record the one today. Show you guys, it's the first conference game. Show, kind of show you guys what that's like. I would love for them to get the win. So you guys can kind of see, cause they've been winning a lot of games, especially at home. So it'd be nice for you guys to see um, how they do at home. The only thing I am scared about is that they are 9-2 at home and 0-6 and on the road. They're giving me basketball advisor. They're good at home but on the road. So we saw how today's game goes. The game's not for like another 18 hours. Um, like I said, I'm going to get a workout in, go to sleep, wake up, probably vlog again. I don't have much plans against the break. Probably um, wake up around like 10, 10, 30 minutes sleep in a little bit, especially if I'm going to go to sleep not until like 1 or 2 after this workout. Uh, so I get to sleep in a little bit. You guys know me, I'm usually up around 5.30, so it'll be nice to sleep in. It's been kind of nice sleeping in more. I still wake up to get workouts in too, but I've had days where I'm able to sleep in until late, so it's been nice. It feels different. I feel like lazy, but at the same time, a lot of my friends sleep until like two, so I guess I don't feel as lazy. Um, shout out to my friends though. But yeah, that's the plan. So when I wake up, probably wake up around 10, 10.30, get settled in. No, well not settled in, but wake up, you know, get ready for the day. Um, again, I need a haircut. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get one, but hopefully soon. Um, i watch watching college basketball in the morning, watch some YouTube for a couple hours, go play some basketball, come back, chill, probably some chicken nuggets here. That's all I really have here right now is chicken nuggets. So if I get some McDonald's tonight after the game, I'll show you guys that. Um, so that's all I got right now, and um, I will see you guys later. All right, so I know I show you guys doing my squats like I did the last video. I promise to do other things, but I feel like doing squats is the easiest thing to show you guys. So I already did it for three minutes straight. And I forgot to record, so I'm just doing extra ones for you guys. Workout done, and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, also, uh, I just got up a little bit ago, took a shower and all that. Uh, I didn't take a shower last night after the workout because I was like, really tired, so I'm like, screw this, I'm just gonna, be, gonna go to bed. Um, right now, I'm watching some college basketball. It hurts watching and knowing that the Aggies are out, but it is what it is. Um, Sam Houston State, I'm not watching that game right now, but Sam Houston State, they're playing against UTEP. Um, UTEP's a big rival of ours, and then Sam Houston State's the coach that coach who didn't coach that. Um, so I don't want either of those teams to win just because Utah's a rival, obviously, so you don't want the rival to win. And then since Coach Houston used to coach at St. Houston, you know, they're doing a little bit better than we are, so I don't want them to do any better. But I do want St. Houston to win this game just because I, I don't want our rival Utah to have a chance at the NCAA tournament. They would be talking crap all, you know, all uh, off-season long, so I don't want that to happen. Um, St. Houston say they are losing right now, so I'm like, all right, bro, y'all better pick it up and just dominate like y'all did against us, and against every other team in our conference. Um, and then I want, I do want, so it, since Western Kentucky beat us, I want them to win the whole thing. Because I would be like, okay, at least we lost to the team that won the tournament, you know what I mean? Um, I want them to win the conference tournament. Um, 
whoever wins the Conference USA tournament will probably get like a 15 or a 16 seed in the tournament. I don't see them anybody getting any higher. Um, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. Western Kentucky, they play against Middle Tennessee, so I think Western Kentucky will win that. I'm rooting for them, and then I want them to beat Sam Houston. That's the best case scenario as of right now, just because we're not in it. Obviously, I want us to win it, but that did not happen. But we fought hard and played our best, so I can't really complain too much. Um, they did exceed expectations. And MSU, they were picked to be eighth in conference season. They got sixth. And they were only predicted to get like nine to 10 wins. We got about 13. It was 13 and 19. So um, I know I'm talking a lot about basketball. This is a baseball video. I need to look forward to that. So sorry about that. But I ramble on a lot. Um, again, today our baseball team, like I said earlier, they actually do play against Sam Houston. Um, Sam Houston, they're a pretty good baseball team. Um, I can't remember what their record is, but I think they have a winning record, and so do we. So I think it'll be a good test. Uh, we played against them three times. I would love for us to get at least two of those wins so we can win the series. Uh, if we can get three, sweep them, that'd be great. Uh, I think us being at home definitely helps out. Um, we, we are, I think I saw something today where like, we're ninth or 10th or maybe 11th in the nation in like, runs at a 10 and a half points per game. So that's really good. Uh, we've had two games where we've had 22 points. Um, we just dominated. We've been dominating a lot of teams recently. Um, playing against good competition too, playing all the D1 schools. So, um, I just played by UCL goes today. Um, it's about 11 ish right now. Uh, so, I got like an hour ago. I slept in a little bit. It says I would sleep a little bit later. I'm going to get some, probably have some chicken nuggets here in a bit. Go play some basketball. Um, probably go to the bookstore. Should get some of that stuff. Probably get like a little energy drink or something like that. Um, with my dying dollar since I get it for free. Well, it's not really free, but I have the money on it that the school gives me. So, I don't get to pay any cash or anything with the cards. So that's always nice to use. Especially during the break, I had, you know, I had to, you know, do what I gotta do to get food around here and get drinks around here and all that. Not alcohol, I don't drink. Um, my energy drinks. And they have this like, big old Red Bull, so I might as well get that. Cause the Red Bulls I've been having are like pretty big small, probably like that size, but I'm, like, the ones at the um, bookstore are like huge, bro, it's crazy. Um, it's like three times the size of the other ones. So, we'll do that, then the game's at six, so I'll go there. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to get um, concessions like I usually do. At the games, because I'm actually getting it on Sunday. They told me since it's a spring break, they don't let me do like the free concessions, and I'm just like, bro, y'all just lazy because the basketball games they did just fine. But again, it is what it is. I've been rambling on for three minutes. Holy crap! Um, as you guys see, I have just a plain gray shirt. I'm gonna play basketball here in a couple hours, like I said. Um, watching Mississippi State and Tennessee right now. Mississippi State, their coach is Chris Jans, who used to coach here. Um, yeah, that's some knowledge for you guys. I will, get, I will see you guys in the next clip. It's already been my life throughout the break, just watching college basketball, all the conference tournaments going on. So the SEC one, obviously, one of the bigger ones, so as well as the Big 12 and all that. So that's just what I've been doing. Let's see if they can get a bucket for the camera. Oh, nope, they cannot. Well, they did not get a bucket. But well, shout out to Chris Jans, rooting for Mississippi State to win this game. I'm only an Aggie fan, I don't really root for anybody else. Sometimes Oregon, just because, you know, that's where I'm from, but obviously I'm just a big Aggie fan, so I don't really care about what anybody else does. But since Chris Jans is a former Aggie coach and an Aggie legend, got to support them. Heading to the game right now.
catch that, catch that, catch that. Nice. Here we go. Baseball can be boring, but it can also be really intense when crazy things happen, as of right now. It's like this. It's not always the funnest to watch, but home run or something like that, it's always fun to watch. Nice. Nice. Different angle for you guys, you know? Look at the best angles for y'all. Like I said, right by the uh, Sam Houston dugout. Game on. It was one of our better hitters as well, so we'll see how he can do. That's right, it doesn't need hitter. Strike one ball. Let's see how he does. Come on, baby. Make something happen. I feel like the quality went over here for some reason looks better, but that's just me. Two balls, one strike. No outs, because he just started. So. This wind is still crazy. I did not bring a jacket, so not the best idea in the world, I guess. I was not expecting to do this windy because I looked, it was actually pretty hot. The New Mexico weather is crazy, so it's gonna be worth that next time. Same thing I have at the softball game. Good hit. Go out. Please, please, please get a home run. Don't catch that. Uh, that was a good hit, though. I'll take it. Got some McDonald's after the game. And McDonald's is actually really good. I know McDonald's isn't the most healthiest thing in the world, but it's all I can afford right now. Um, Cause I already ate pretty much all my food throughout the week. Pluck it to pizza tomorrow. And then on Sunday, campus opens back up. And so I'll be able to get yeah, tossing and all that. But the game did not go well at all. Um, ended up losing 10-0, so I'm not great. Um, I'm gonna go to the games in the next couple of days. So maybe I'll try to find some clips from that and put it in this video if I don't upload it soon. Um, but I do plan on uploading this video within this weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, wasn't able to get the best footage in the world, but I was able to get some good hits. Unfortunately, no, these guys are college athletes. You know, it's pretty damn easy for them to catch a pop fly. Um, definitely was expecting it a little bit better, but we still have a chance to um, bounce back. We have two more games at it. That's how baseball works. <clears throat> so they have like four games all, you know, back to back to back to back. But um, I think we'll bounce back. We're fine. We're 9-9 overall. Still a way better start. Last year, we were 14-37. Only had 14 wins. So all we got to do is win six more games. And we'll have more wins than last year. So... Um, I don't think there's anything for else, you know, I cannot talk. I don't think there's anything else for me to say, but if there is, I will throw that here at the end of the video. If not, appreciate you guys for watching. And I will make a softball video probably within the next week. They play against UTEP next week. So I'll make a video on that most likely. Um, hope you guys enjoy. That'll probably make some, I'm gonna try to make some highlight videos for the basketball team, um, if the quality is good. So don't call me on that, but I will try my best to make the best videos I can, if I can get them out. Probably make more vlogs. I think I, I, I am planning on making a video soon. Top, maybe to, maybe this weekend I might have time. I'm gonna make a video sometime soon talking about the basketball season and how it went. Kind of just give you guys my analysis on it. Um, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys later.